Hello Leo, welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading. Mercury is in retrograde and it is about redos. It is about going back and, um, cor and correcting mistakes and doing things right the next time around. It could also affect electronics and communications. So be on the lookout for miscommunications, misunderstandings as well. Be very careful how you talk to people that you make your point very clear. Okay, without any further ado, um, we're going to get into your energies, a few oracle cards, and then and the tarot. Now, keep in mind, um, an example is the Aries reading, that sometimes the oracle reading could be for one group of people and the tarot for another, however it resonates, okay? Or they both can mesh in together. And I am having another giveaway, my Valentine's Day giveaway. The winners will be announced on Valentine's Day, the winner. I am giving away a free relationship re and love reading. And for that, all you do to enter would be to put a comment in this video, hashtag, um, hashtag Valentine's Day reading. Instead of emailing me, we're gonna go by hashtags, okay. Okay, well, let's see what energies you have, Leo. You have the Ten of Water. Ten of Water is like is the Ten of Cups. Okay, and my handy dandy glasses so I can read. Okay, this is any. Okay, it says a content and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships so this may be going back and redoing something even mending old bridges with family members um it could be romantic it doesn't have to be okay so let's go on and we will go ahead and get into your oracle cards Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity messages and guidance, please, for Leo. Clarity messages and guidance for Leo. Clarity messages and guidance for Leo. Clarity messages, guidance for Leo. Okay, you've got death. It says, a time of natural transition and transformation. So what I'm feeling here, Leo, there is a, um, an ending to something that is, tra or a transformation. It's like something in your life is transforming. And let's see what else comes up. The fool, have, a, have the courage to embrace change. Take risks, be adventurous. So there's definitely something ending for you, Leo, and something new beginning. And Spirit is saying you need to be adventurous. You need to take that risk, okay? Let's see what else comes up here. This is like a whole new beginning. You may be traveling, you may be going on, a, you may even totally taking the leap of faith and relocating and moving. And not taking the baggage with you. Just taking what's with you. This is like similar energy. Very similar energy to the full card of the tarot. Okay. Let's see what else comes up here. Okay. Going with the flow. This is like meshing nicely. Patience. Your patience is going to be paying off, Leo. And now that things are changing... Um, you just have to go with the flow and you have to trust in it. Okay, let's see what the romance angel says according to romance and relationships. According to romance and relationships, let's see what the romance angels has. Okay, that card kind of wanted to drop, so we're taking it. Releasing your ex. Okay, however that resonates with somebody... I think this might be part of what this transition is. Releasing an X and moving forward, going with the flow. And giving your relationship a chance. So, I think that some of you may be involved with somebody. 
and maybe things aren't going smooth sailing. Maybe you are reluctant, afraid to take that deep dive, or afraid to take that risk. And the universe is the saying, first step into taking that risk is about releasing the X or releasing energy or emotions. It doesn't even mean you have to still be in love with your ex. It could be simply as, you know, hard feelings, emotional upheaval. Okay. And we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. That's pretty deep. Some of you, let me be, uh, I got to keep it real, okay? This is not for everybody. Somebody could also be dealing with a death in the family. And this is saying that, you know, there are some people out there that are maybe very, you may be dealing with somebody in your family who's very materialistic. Um, and, or some of you might have this all about your uh, what you have. But when you pass from this world, you don't you can't take your belongings with you i don't know who that particular message is for um but that is for somebody and i'm going to draw one more card forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine that is so true so if you're folk, you know, if you focus on hate or if you focused on anger towards somebody, you know, that sticks with your soul. Spirit is talking. Okay. Somebody might be dealing with a death in the family, but I'm not feeling that real strong. I think spirit is trying to say, you know, have nothing but love in your heart. Forgive those that have hurt you because that when you release that, releasing your ex, there might be some hurtful feelings here. You may want something from this ex. Maybe that you feel they owe you something, but you know, you can't take that with you. It's time to release that energy. Okay. I wasn't expecting the Oracle section to be that long, but so I wanted to dive into the tarot because, but that's what the message is from the Oracle. Let's see what the tarot has for you guys. Okay. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity messages and guidance, please. For my Leos, clarity, messages, and guidance for Leo. Clarity, messages, and guidance for Leo. Okay. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. You want to talk about emotions and relationships. Holy cow. Four of Cups, more Cups. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Page of Cups. I swear you're getting the whole suit of cups here. Seven of Rods. And this is, again, the same like that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Six of Cups. Really? Three of Swords. The Strength card. Four of Swords, and this is kind of low vibrational energy because we're getting a lot of low numbers. Justice, Libra energy, and the Tower, Scorpionic energy. This is some powerful energies here. Okay, what you seem to be dealing with is walking away from... And ending a situation that was hurtful. I feel that somebody needs is feeling they need to walk away 
in order to do some soul searching. And that, that came out in the Oracle cards. Soul searching, walking away, abandoning a situation, putting something to rest here. Because it feels as though that, you know, what was once seemed to be such a romantic relationship, such a loving re connection here, um, ended up not being exactly what you want. Somebody, uh, the chariot is talking about, I feel like somebody leaving. They may have ghosted you. Um, and strength card, they're your energy, Leo. I feel like somebody may have hurt you in a deep connection, a deep relationship. Um, and having that strength, that courage, and that confidence to, to put that to rest and move forward and do the right thing for yourself and, and that tower falling. I feel as though that this... This retrograde, there is going to be a replay with an X here, okay? Somebody may be coming forth trying to offer you their cup again. After they had walked away from you, that's it. That's it. They abandoned you, Leo. Totally abandoned you, okay? And you are in this space of trying to move forward. You've done a lot of soul searching. You've put something to rest. It I mean, them walking away really made you sick. And you finally was at a place where you stood your ground, you faced your fears, and you were moving forward. Okay? Now, they want to come back. They want to offer you their cup. They want a new start. And you're like, ho, 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 ho. I don't know about that. And you're finding that courage and that strength. Okay? Because, you know... It doesn't feel like that they're changing their ways, okay? It does feel like that there is this... this and they're causing a disruption. Oh, my gosh. They are... The I can't even talk. Causing a disruption. That's what this retrograde is about. And let you know justice is going to be served. I think that you are going to turn your back on them. And they are going to have a little bit of justice. A little bit of taste of it. Okay. Temperance, Sagittarian energy with the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving forward, trying to find that balance. You've been healing. You found some victory. And, you know, the Moon card. You're trusting your, in your intuition about walking away from this situation. King of Pentacles is presenting himself as... He or she is presenting themselves as somebody solid and stable now. And Seven of Pentacles, but your intuition knows there is no growth there. Right? You know, it's like an, more empty promises from this person. Page of Pentacles with a Four of Cups. They're offering you something that you really don't want. Five of Pentacles with a Chariot. So they're charging forward. They're, they think they're in control. But two, two of Swords here with a Page of Cups. Yeah, I think you are blocking their messages. I think you need to block their messages because they've breadcrumbed you. They left you out in the cold. Three of Rods here. They're still maybe... I'm still getting third-party energy. I still feel that they're your... X has another X that is still in the picture here. Nine of Swords here. You know, this per you're going to, don't let this person keep you up at night. Don't let this person rattle your brain here. The star card, follow your divine guidance. There is healing. The universe is trying to heal your situation here. Three of Cups here with a strength card. You know, Having that strength to overcome. Celebrating yourself. Celebrating your own soul here. Queen of Pentacles with the Four of, of Swords. So we have the King and Queen on the board here. There is a true match. Whether that's you and that person, your ex. But they chose to be untrustworthy. Or they may be still have a true match. They may be in a higher level of commitment and not telling you. That's what I'm getting here. With the... Mirroring the moon card, they are in a higher level of commitment and not and still not telling you. King of Cups here with the Justice card. We still we have the King of Queen of Cups here. We have two matches, two couples, two pairs on the board that are true matches. You know, um, I feel that this is saying you need to really trust your intuition, and somebody is definitely getting their karma. Judgment card. This is about making the right decision. Um, they want, they definitely want a reconciliation with you, even though they're still holding on to somebody from their past as well. This seems like a really jumbled mess, and I think that 
This is somebody stepping into the light, becoming aware. This is a new awareness here. This is an awakening. I think this person's going to try to charm you. Then all of a sudden, you're going to come to this realization. Wait, no, we're not repeating. Okay, that's what I have for you, Leo. And blessed be.